Mary and the Matrons is a musical partly set at the start of the swinging 60s. It happens in the 1960s and in the 2020s. It's a musical because we want to reach as many people as possible. So we want this to be accessible, specific and commercial. It's inspired by Dr. Mary Sheridan. Dr. Mary Sheridan was a paediatric doctor who pioneered the way that we look at long-stay hospitals, the way that we teach and care for learning disabled children. And then in the present tense, there's a mum and a daughter, Lou and Millie. And Millie has been at special school and now she's starting her adult life and they've got to navigate that. My character is Millie. She's very clever and bright. She is so very close to her mum. She wants to follow her footsteps, but her actual dreams are studying space and hopefully going to NASA. Lou kind of gets a bit obsessed by Mary Sheridan. That kind of starts inspiring her to be a different kind of mum. She has a tricky, loving, funny, sticky, sad, wonderful relationship with her daughter and basically coming to terms with the fact that Millie is also growing up. Lou is doing everything to help Millie, but Millie wants to be as independent as she possibly can be. There's a beautiful parallel of Millie and Dr. Sheridan kind of figuring out their way through the system. Mary and the Matrons is exploring the kind of radical acts of Mary Sheridan. And I think it's asking us what the next radical action is and what your radical action looks like. It's a really exciting new musical. The music is all inspired by 60s um, music, 60s pop music, but obviously it's blended in with um, a really lovely contemporary musical theatre style. Sometimes you'll send me lyrics as they are, sometimes you'll send me lyrics with a, uh, a voice note of a melody, or perhaps an idea of what the inspiration was, and then just bounce off each other that way. I it, it's been such an exciting process, bringing those two elements together. It's pop 60s contemporary musical theatre soundtrack. It's a new show and we're all learning Makaton for the show. Uh, there is Makaton featuring in it, um, but it's all interwoven within the narrative, the story itself. I just think this is the amazing thing I've, that, that I've ever done in my life. It's a coming of age story for our main character Millie, but also in a sense it's a coming of age story for society.